All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, this is obviously a little bit different of a video than you guys usually watch. Uh, I'm also filming it in my car. I'm actually waiting outside of my job. I've got a couple minutes before I have to go in and I wanna see if I can get this video recorded before I have to go in. Um, I don't know if I'll have to come back and record again. Hopefully not. So let's go ahead and kind of hop into this. I, I guess I need to set me a set me a timer just so I can uh, make sure. But guys, there's a lot of issues that I have with the fitness community. Okay, and that's what we're going to talk about today. You already read the title, saw the thumbnail, whatever. That's what we're going to talk about is my issues with the fitness community. I made a poll on my Instagram a couple of weeks ago asking if you guys wanted videos like this with me just, you know, re reacting to maybe fitness or basketball videos or talking about fitness and basketball. So here that is. Here that is. That's not English. Okay. The fitness community overall gets a lot of slander. And a big reason for that is they're called um, narcissists, meatheads, and fat phobic. As I dive into this, let's come to an agreement on something. Whether you're 200 pounds overweight, okay, if you're 200 pounds overweight, obese, you have a greater chance of being unhealthy compared to if you were smaller. Um, that's fact. But, it's the same if you were like anorexic. The bigger you are and the thinner you are, the bigger the chance that you're gonna be unhealthy. If you're obese or anorexic, you have a high chance of being pretty unhealthy. Uh, can we please come to an agreement on that, all right? A lot of fitness influencers come off as, if you're overweight, that's the only way you're gonna be unhealthy, which is not true. But it's just not true. Um, you can be really thin. You can be a bodybuilder and be extremely unhealthy. There are a lot of bodybuilders dying here recently because of drugs and all of that that they have to take in bodybuilding, which that will be a topic for another day. Um, people think when they hear performance enhancing drugs and all of that for bodybuilding that it's like a bad thing, which kind of is, but... Taking stuff like that is actually actually normalized in the sport of bodybuilding. That's why bodybuilding is actually one of the most dangerous sports. But anyway, that's not the conversation. So, a lot of th a lot of the time, fitness influencers try to play hero. And what I mean by that is, they see an influencer who is like overweight, okay, and they have a platform. And they may showcase bad eating habits or just not the kind of habits that that influencer has when it comes to eating. And they think they have to play hero and talk to their audience and their own audience and be like, hey, this is not okay. You can't eat like this. Being that size is not okay. I think we can all come to an agreement that yes, if you're overweight, that's not healthy. Okay. It's not healthy. But also, if you're overweight yourself, whether you accept your body or not, it's kind of hard to ignore that. It's kind of hard to just not see that every day. So for one, the fitness influencers don't need to go out of their way to be like, hey, you're unhealthy. Because they know that. They know that the chances are they're probably not as healthy as they could be. All right? And they can still love their body and that be a thing. But fitness influencers need to quit attacking bigger influencers as in weight bigger and being like oh you're unhealthy unless that influencer the influencer that's overweight is you know on their platform saying you know i'm 200 pounds overweight uh, i eat nothing but pizzas every day you should eat like me get to my size it's fun you know unless they're doing that leave it alone and if they are doing that i'm not saying attack them and be like you know you're wrong you're so unhealthy, you know, voice your opinion, but don't, don't be a jerk. You know, at that point, I feel like we're entitled to an opinion. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but unless that is the circumstance, I just feel like there shouldn't be 
an opinion about their weight or how they're eating, okay? Um, the fitness influencers, you know, like Greg Desette, uh, I don't know his first name on TikTok. He's it's Mendoza. All great guys. I love their content. I love the information that they do give out. But they're more known as people who do that kind of thing. Greg Desette, it's not really that bad. But with uh, Mendoza, it's been a thing here recently. And just don't need to go down that path like that. Like I agree with a lot of things that they say in their videos, but the approach that they're taking. It's just not the way to do it. it. It puts a bad word or a bad, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Reputation on the fitness community. And we don't need that because as a person who's into fitness myself, I just want everybody to be the healthiest they can be. Um, you know, if they are overweight and they don't care about getting healthier. All right. Like that, that's, that's your life. And unless you're promoting that to your, your audience saying, yeah, be like me, don't care about you. You know, unless you're doing that, I have, I feel no need to voice my opinion about it, you know? So I, I just feel like that's a big problem. We need to quit looking at influencers that are bigger and just instantly assuming that they're trying to promote being their size or being, or eating unhealthy to their audience. We need to quit assuming that, all right? I know the whole thing with Tess Holiday being a fat model, and that's a, a body positivity thing. Um, yes, you can 100% control your weight, but there are a, a lot of limiting factors. There, there is, you know, depression. Um, I'm, I, I can't name everything, but th there are reasons why you wouldn't want to lose the weight, or you just can't mentally. Like, it's not. I used to think that it's as simple as just do it. You know, that's all you got to do is just suck it up and, you know, just do it. But, like, that's not, it's not the thing with everybody. It's just, it's not. There's a lot of things that come into play. Some people, they feel like it's really hard to lose weight. They get depressed about it and they don't lose weight. So, the whole fat model thing or being overweight as a model with Tess Holiday is just, you know, even though you may not be the healthiest and you can't maybe lose the weight, you know, love your body. Love your body no matter what, Okay. If you are bigger, love your body. If you're smaller, love your body. Um, but if you do have the chance, try and take care of your body as best as you can. I, I am a strong believer of that. Please take care of your body to the best of your ability. Um, but to the best of your ability. Not everybody, it is completely possible for everybody to lose weight, but not everybody's gonna gonna do it, you know? And we have to accept that and let people live their lives we can't as a fitness influencer we can't save everybody and have everybody on this planet healthy hey what's going on guys um so i'm sitting here recording the video and i didn't do an outro because i actually filmed another part of this video which was another issue i had with the fitness community but i'm actually going to um leave that for another video but i do just want to say before i end this video you know, Greg Doucette, uh, It's Mendoza, all the people who do videos about people being overweight and the ones that get a lot of controversy. I still love their their content and their channels. Like, I don't hate any of them. Uh, I'm still going to watch them. But I do want to come to, um, I want to agree to disagree on this. Maybe one of them can react to this video. That would be awesome. Um, I know I'm a smaller creator, so the chances are kind of low, but I genuinely want to know what they think about what I had to say, and you know, maybe we can actually have a discussion about it, I don't know. But, that's basically the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, turn on the bell so you guys know when I upload. Um, yeah, I sound sick because I'm very congested right now. But anyway, that's, that's just the end of the video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.